talk about physical and chemical change. So, when we say physical change, physical change is a change in one or more physical properties of matter without any change in its chemical composition. Example of that is tearing paper or cutting paper. And then we also have melting ice cubes. That's an example of physical change. And then when you try to chop a wood, okay, so therefore chopping of wood is an example of um, physical change as well as when you try to break a specific type of glass okay so that is also a physical change now another type of change is the what we call um, chemical change so when we say chemical change a change that happens when one chemical substance is transformed into one or more different substances so normally you produce a new substance so I will give some examples of chemical change. Okay. So here are the examples for chemical change. So are you familiar with magnesium? Okay. So magnesium is um, a metal. Okay. So here we have magnesium ribbon. So we are trying to ignite a magnesium ribbon using alcohol lamp. So the ignition of magnesium ribbon is an example of chemical change. So, observe carefully as you can see, you will see evidences like there's a production of gas, okay, and then there's a change in temperature as you can see, and it produces, uh, uh, it emits light also, okay. So, just to give you an idea, magnesium is also used in making fireworks, okay. So, ignition of magnesium ribbon is an example of chemical change that. there's a production of gas there's a change in color and it produces ash already so there is a production of new substance there you can see so the magnesium ribbon is being turned into ash. Another example is the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium again. Okay, so I'm going to add magnesium to hydrochloric acid. We so look at the reaction. So as you can see, there's also an evolution of gas because bubbles are being produced. So if you're going to touch it, it will really um, tell you that it's hot. It's very hot. Okay. Try to observe uh, what is being produced. So there is a gas inside and it's coming out of the Florence flask. That gas is called hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. So the reaction between the hydrochloric acid and the magnesium is there it produces hydrogen gas take a look at the magnesium ribbon so starts to disappear okay. starts to evaporate okay, because of hydrochloric acid so just to give you an idea also uh, from the chemical formula HCl, so automatic there's an hydrogen there, one atom of hydrogen, so on that particular solution, and it is being um, disintegrated through a chemical means because of the magnesium. So the hydrogen now escapes. There, you produce a new substance. And that is an example of chemical change. Actually, if I'm going to put fire here, it will uh, burst into flame. So, because as we all know, um, hydrogen gas is very flammable. Another example is another type of metal also. Okay, so we have here an aluminum. Okay, the reaction of aluminum to sodium hydroxide. So, aluminum also is uh, a type of metal. Okay. 
when you add sodium hydroxide to aluminum there is a reaction so another one as you can see bubbles are being produced also okay and that is one indicator that there is a chemical reaction so therefore this particular uh, example is a chemical change look at that the aluminum starts to melt already and this one also produces hydrogen gas so, I put a set up like this because uh, it's hot uh, it's too hot to handle actually so, there and when you do this try to cover your uh, mouth and nose with a mask or face mask because the the smoke is irritating so the gas being produced is hydrogen again so look at the reaction so we normally do this in order to produce hydrogen gas okay. so if we are dealing with compounds if you want to see how the reaction so there. Do not do this at home without uh, supervision for, uh, of adults because it's really dangerous. It's only <laughs> science teachers and other experts can do this. Uh, although we perform this in grade 6 class, but I see to it, I'm hands on. Because that particular liquid that is being emitted because of the reaction is very hot. It can. Um, melt your skin actually it can burn your skin rather if you're going to touch the test tube it's hot try to check the examples from the start so the indicator there another or new substance um, is being produced in the reaction so that's why it's chemical change because the chemical composition, the chemical properties is being altered. So again, this is the reaction between aluminum and uh, sodium hydroxide. By the way, sodium hydroxide actually is a base compound, um, NaOH. So normally, uh, common name for sodium hydroxide is uh, liquid sosa which is being used in unclogging your uh, sink okay there you go so the aluminum is melted and then another substance is produced so there's a production of uh, hydrogen and here look at the residue uh, also precipitates are formed already there at the test tube as you can see. the formation of precipitate is also an evidence of chemical change and change in color so change in color there. okay now we also have another example uh, next after this another this is a common example actually so when the topic is about chemical change this is the perfect example of course burning something okay when you burn something you produce ash and then that's it it's chemical change so let's not done okay, I'll repeat don't do this at home Okay. It should be monitored by an adult. Okay. Then you hear the examples that I'm trying to tell you a while ago. So I have here an alcohol lamp. And of course, a piece of paper. Okay. So, to the paper. so it's the paper is color gray. So once you burn it, it will turn into the color will change and another substance will be produced so this is an example of chemical change okay, let's
Tabar recap. So when we say chemical change, a, a type of change wherein it produces a new substance. So for you to identify, so you have to take note of the evidences. Number one, production of gas, or the of gas. And then change in color, change in temperature, sometimes production of heat and light, and products, production of new substance. So matter always undergo changes, either physical or chemical change. So there you go. They always undergo change. So by the way, this particular simple experiment should not be done also without uh, adult supervision. So hindi tayo dapat naglalaro ng apoy sa bahay. Okay? Don't do this at home. So with that, thank you for watching our, uh, our simple experiment. So for more videos like this, please subscribe to Unlimited Science by Sir Yoren. Thank you.